One of the best things about Sketch is its beautifully simple user interface and with that comes a few surprises and a few hidden things and a little bit of terminology. So I'm going to throw some things at you guys so that we're on the same page when dealing with the terminology within Sketch because there are a few things that you might not know what they're called and if I use these words over and over again you will be confused and you will hate me. So the first one's pretty intuitive, that's the toolbar across the top and the toolbar has a bunch of buttons on it and those buttons allow us to create things such as the insert button, they allow us to modify things, move things around uh, and even export our finished objects or layers. So with the toolbar here you might see the buttons that you care about, you might see the functions that you use all the time, you might not. So if you right click on the toolbar you get some options up here for how the toolbar can look. You can hide it entirely if you like. Uh, I don't recommend that. You'll need it. And you can also customize the toolbar. So if you go ahead and click on customize toolbar you can see there are a ton of buttons that are not already on the toolbar. So if you constantly find yourself doing something such as union which is a way of combining shapes but you don't find yourself using uh, intersect or difference you can remove those from the toolbar by, by pulling them off uh, and you can pull something else up there like show pixels or something like that you can even insert little spaces to keep yourself organized so I'm gonna move away from that real quick that's the toolbar and on the right hand side this guy's called the inspector this whole panel on the right hand side and the idea of the inspector is that everything in your document will have some sort of properties associated with it such as the color, a border around it, a shadow, uh, everything also has a position and a size associated with it. So let me go ahead and make a shape here. Go ahead and create a rectangle. This will show me that my rectangle is 182 pixels to the right and 59 pixels down from the origin of the ruler. You can see here 0, 0 on my rulers at the top. If I'd like it to jump to 0, 0 I can type in 0, 0 for position and for size I could type in a value here if I wanted to and that will give me the size without me having to drag it and ballpark it myself so these are properties that I can change manually here uh, there's a bunch more stuff in here and we're gonna deep dive into these things in future tutorials so keep an eye out for those but just so you guys know the inspector changes depending on what is selected so if I go and I create a text box here when I click to add some text, you can see that the inspector has just changed to become a text inspector. If I click away, I get very little. If I click on a box, I get properties of that box. Click back on the text, I get properties of the text. So don't be upset if you're not seeing your text options when you don't have text selected. You must have text selected in order to see the text related options. So just a heads up on that. And then once you get a few things on your canvas, you'll find that you can scroll around, you can go up, you can go down, you can go left, you can go right, uh, and you may or may not discover that the canvas is infinite in size. If you're using Sketch 3, there there is no limit to the canvas. I can scroll to the right literally forever until my hand falls off. So, if anyone's wondering how I just jumped back to my content, there's a keyboard shortcut of Command 1 on your keyboard. Command 1 will jump you back to fitting all of the content that you have on the canvas in the screen. So as you scroll around, you get lost, you get confused, you zoom out, you zoom in, just hit Command 1 to go right back to normal. That's a, that's a super killer shortcut that you're going to be using over and over again as you stray off away from your content. And that content is also represented on the left hand side in the layers pane which I will as a reflex probably refer to as the layers panel uh, but the layers pane on the left hand side is full of your objects every time you create an object it shows up on the layers pane and on the layers pane you'll also find groups of objects as you create groups which we'll get into uh, you'll also find artboards and slices which we'll get into but the idea is that every object is a layer every object gets its own layer there aren't two separate things going on objects are layers and layers are objects and at the bottom if you are good about naming your layers you can even search for a layer so uh, that's a pretty cool way to just find stuff if you've got a ton of objects which eventually you probably will so that's the gist of the interface we've also got a bunch of menus up here these all drop down from the menu bar and then there are also the sketch preferences which we'll want to explore in a future tutorial but now you guys are at least familiar with what is where and what those things are called so let's move forward let's dive in if you're not subscribed already please subscribe and I'll have lots of cool tutorials coming along the way